Today was a big day for this leopard. The leopard was on the rehabilitation program by Ubejano Africa. Uh, we named the leopard uh, Ziki because uh, Miroslav Zikmund, we call him Ziki, he was um, a traveler in our country. He traveled with his partner, the guy, the second guy is already dead, but this guy uh, released uh, thousands of books and he made the entire world coming to our country and to us. And he is 90 years, 98 years old at the time. And he is still alive and he's still wandering and uh, he cannot travel anymore. So, you know, we just continue and we want to please him and we want to uh, say thank you for things he has done. So Ziki is, as we call him, his name. And now it's the name of the leopard. It means a lot to us. The purpose of this currently uh, collaring this leopard this is an animal that's been caught in a snare and been injured and been, uh, has recovered so we went through the rehab process and we're now going to release it again with a collar and monitoring it and see where it's going. It's a big male so we don't have enough data of, of large adult males that's been uh, this these conditions, this age group, three to uh, four, four plus years old. We still have to consider it. This thing is going to grow, we're going to reuse this collar yes. and we might have to leave a piece so we can allow for extension. There was a company that sponsored a collar, a GPS collar for us. We were really happy with, with, with this opportunity because we were working three, three years in Africa and now if we can a little bit help with something, it's, it's fine for us, that's all. Yeah, we feel that, you know, Africa in three years gave us a lot and we want to give something back. And then we're going to look at what this cat's doing, if he's going back to his natal home range, going to re-enter re that area and going to be active there again. We've had it before with bigger males. This is a bit younger male, so it will just contribute to uh, extending our database in terms of, of what these cats are doing and looking at and the specifics for these kind of cats and the, what we're doing here, looking at specifically more from a conservation point of view is to um, look at the corridors, the, practically the corridors that these cats will be moving in to uh, move from one area or to the next area or where they're settling, to look at vacancies in areas which, which is more suitable for them. So technically this cat will just contribute to the larger database that we have in terms of uh, giving us uh, areas which we should see as con uh, areas that we should focus on for conservation purposes. Uh, we're a film crew from Czech Republic, which is a very small country based in the Central Europe next to Germany. And uh, uh, we spent uh, some time here filming about Africa and uh, interesting people and uh, nature and the wildlife, which is our preference. And we're very happy that we had the opportunity to do that. We did a quick cl clinical evaluation on it. Mm -hmm. Um, just checking for old wounds, did the wounds heal properly, checking teeth, checking, checking claws. Um, all was fine, was fine to be in order, all the, the cat was in a thin, poor body condition, but was clinically healthy and alert. And now we're just going to monitor the movement on the animal, where the collar is going to, we've got GPS tracking on him. And the, the movement patterns that these cats are following is important for us in terms of identifying these corridors to link these different hotspots or reserves or uh, prior, priority conservation areas. And that's technically what uh, we will gain from this cat's data at this stage. And um, we released it in around about four or five k's away from here. On the property Buffelskloof, or better known as Koronga. Um, it woke up beautifully. Thank <laughs> you. 